Casual Friday continues this morning as we're web streaming online, WLFI.com. Mamaw's Sweet Shop, also white iris floral design. That's where we find Laura Curtley in a brand new dress. It looks a lot like Kate Middleton's dress. <laughs> Good morning, Laura. Let me just clarify that it is not brand new because that makes me sound even more pathetic than I already <laughs> But I will admit that I wore it on purpose. Blue, purple, regal. Okay. Well, we're moving on here at Casual Friday. This is the finished product, um, which I'm not going to lie here. I really didn't do much on this bouquet uh, from White Iris Designs. We're going to move on, going back to Mama's Sweet Shop here. I'm joined by Aaron Brown, who has more on some of the trends going on. Um, this one in particular, you mentioned the uh, the bright colors that are mm -hmm. used in the fondant, mm -hmm. and you said you can match it to Sherwin-Williams? Mm -hmm. Sherwin-Williams paint chips, yeah, of all things. Uh, this, this particular cake is actually, we did this for a friend of ours back in December, and is now featured on our website. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll notice that this has a brooch, and I noticed that Tammy said something to you about that the sort of the something old and something new so that's mm -hmm. that's very popular right now with us we get a lot of brides that really want to pay tribute to their for a lot of them even their great grandmothers and oh, something yeah. that they pull into their wedding so it's uh, it's really kind of a cool thing and it's really something that we're we're seeing a lot of with a lot of the cakes that we do well gone are the days of just a white cake I mean this right. is about as bright as you can really get yeah. the rich the rich red there mm -hmm. um, but something that's also popular are cupcakes and we can right. go over and take a look at sure. that yeah, cupcakes have kind of really have come along quite a lot here in the last, especially for us in the last year or two. And uh, we've, we've been able to develop these uh, kind of custom wraps that go on the cupcakes. Mm -hmm. We affectionately refer to them as skirts. Oh, of course. And this particular, uh, this particular I guess, setup uh, sort of pays tribute back to sort of that fairy court, uh, that, uh, mm -hmm. um, I don't want to say jungle theme, but it definitely has a very earthy, a very sort of rich. Well, the moss, the butterfly, right. the mushrooms. The mushrooms, right. And what the cool thing about this that I really like about this display is that when you first look at it, you don't even realize that there are cupcakes mm -hmm. there. It's, it's kind of like going mushroom hunting. Sort of. <laughs> uh, oh, well, there's another one, and they sort of pop out at you, and it's got butterflies, and it's got branches, and it's uh, lots of flowers. And so, yeah, it's a very, very pretty presentation. Well, and up top you have the cake because you were mentioning that, you know, a lot of people are doing cupcakes. Mm -hmm. um, I think our meteorologist maybe uh, <laughs> for their wedding, but uh, you also mentioned that when when it comes to cakes, some people are actually having styrofoam cakes. Right, yeah. So you decorate the styrofoam, but then you serve the the cake on like sheet cake. Right, we do it, we do we really do about three different types of cakes. Of course, we do the regular buttercream that we talked about earlier. We do fondant, which we do that with about 25% of our cakes. Okay. But the biggest thing for us right now is fake cakes, and, and what we do with that a lot is that, and these two cakes obviously are fake, mm -hmm. um, or dummy cakes, however you want to refer to it, and then we can do it a couple different ways. We can make it so that this dummy cake actually has real cake in it mm -hmm. that you can cut so that when you, when you go through the sort of obligatory cutting of the cake, it, it really is cake that you're cutting. And then um, the rest of it is fake, and then we serve the rest in sheet cakes or in cupcakes. Because you said that your cakes, the thing about your cakes is not just like stuffy old, white, no. out of the box cake. No, no, absolutely not. That's, and that's what we're all about. You know, I always say we're a bakery first. Mm -hmm. uh, so we really want to make sure our stuff tastes good. Unfortunately, a lot of people, when they go to weddings, can never tell you what the cake looks like. Mm -hmm. But every one of them will be able to tell you what it tastes like. Yep. So we want to make sure that it's really good cake to start. And quickly here, you also have tablescapes that you do um, in order you know, for brides trying to get it all done. In one-stop shop, you can help with that. We can. Uh, everything from um, from the cakes all the way back to the backdrops and, and any table displays, head tables, anything that you need for pretty decorations. Yeah, it's gorgeous and it again plays into that earthy theme. You know, we were just watching the Royal Wedding trees in the trees. sanctuary, so it kind yeah. of goes in with that whole theme. And there's a, actually the tree behind you as well. Right. So Yeah, I will be the one that. carrying the trees. I don't <laughs> I don't have a lot to do with the decorating or the uh, the style, but I'm really good at carrying and organizing things. So <laughs> Well, it's gorgeous. And we Thank have you. a lot more coming up here for this casual Friday one last time, so stick with us. Laura, you should have heard me sitting behind this lady here. <laughs> I, I'm planning a wedding, Breaking of down course, and, and, and I am absolutely doing cupcakes. Cannot wait to do the cupcakes. Right. I love the idea. You guys got some ideas, don't you? Well, it's Come great. Yeah. Things to think about. Yeah, it's great. And you and I talked about how you can choose different flavors with the cupcakes. So you can get the red exactly. velvet, which happens to be my favorite. Versatile. <laughs> and Yeah, and they, they say here the cake is, is worth eating. It's not just one of those things you scrape off the icing and eh, maybe I'll have it, you know, mm -hmm. just to be polite. So. You can do it with the cupcakes, a different flavor, everyone gets something different. Mm. And That's perfectly said, you remember how it tastes, not exactly how it looks. Oh, totally. Mm -hmm. Yep. We appreciate it, Laura. Thanks. And we're, of course, there are Mamas and, and also the flower shop for the Royal Wedding. Mm -hmm. You go to our website, WLFI.com, cool feature here. You can see us streaming, but also Gordon, our web guy, has put up uh, the outline of what's happening today, the wedding of, of Prince William and Kate 
Middleton. You can see there the outline of what's going to happen. It's kind of weird to look on the computer and see me see looking yourself. at the computer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that doesn't like happen very picture often. Picture-to-picture type yeah. thing. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of cool. Gordon, we appreciate it. Coming up, recapping this morning's top headlines. But here's your final look at Ticket Trivia for today. <gasps> Shock. <laughs> Talking about the royal wedding. After her marriage, what will be Kate Middleton's title? Countess of Wessex, Duchess of Cambridge, Princess of Cornwall, or the Duchess of York. Ticket I trivia. love how you go into an accent for all of them. Well, you have to. You can't. <laughs> Countess of Wessex. No, you can't. you got to say it. Duchess that was another accent. Totally not 